I'd like to greet all human beings all around the world with a universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. It doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor religious beliefs may be. It doesn't matter whether you the richest to the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't matter whether you like my YouTube videos, like me, whether you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It doesn't matter if you dark skinned or light skinned. I greet all of you all with the same universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Uh, today happened to be March the 24th. 2020 those have been listening to have an ear to hear and an eye to see and a mind to think and a heart that would send you in the right direction I've been telling you the year 2020 is the sign of a new vision clear sight for those that want to see a change Tracy Chapman in one of her songs in the 1980s said it was talking about a revolution but I want you to look at this gas prices down here in Charles Missouri Southeast Missouri the Boot Hill Mississippi County regular gas is 178 Diesel look like it's about uh, 239, uh, I believe it is. Why the gas prices is lowering, you take a look around here, you see them benches out there. Once upon a time, it was where you can sit, the waters is rising. If you look not around just in Mississippi County or in the 50 states in the United States. But if you look around the world, the world is in panic. You see when California, when they have a lot of fires, people is running. In other places when they have floods, people is running. Now you have people that keeping themselves away from other people because they say the coronavirus. But I tell you one thing, when, when or if uh, the Congress or the president them pass the bill to give uh, married couples $2,400 and $500 for each one of their children or single parents $1,200 and $500 for their kids, children. I bet you the coronavirus ain't going to stop them from going out there shopping. When we was in Chicago, I thank God some people in the hotel had enough sense to know that God is your mask that you put on your face. But it's coronavirus. God is the man, there is the gloves that you put on your hands for that coronavirus. You see, if the coronavirus is so dangerous, the police will stop arresting people. You see what I'm saying? If the coronavirus was that dangerous, you see them trucks heading southbound on I-57, you see that one heading northbound on 957 oh they would have been stopped but let me tell you what me and my household feel the coronavirus is it's a way of god waking up a lot of these evil and wicked wicked people you see the coronavirus can't kill nobody that god don't allow them to take out you see I know two people down here in Charles, Missouri were shot 10 times. And yet, for the grace of God, 
they're up and walking again. You see, sometimes when God give people warnings about things, God don't give up on them, but God move them out of the way. If you take a close look in that water, there we go again. You see two geese. You see what I'm saying? One coming towards me, going south, I mean going uh, north, and the other one is going southeast. They know what I'm here to talk about. Them two geese is my two daughters. You see, no matter what their evil auntie on their mother's side and their evil uncle on their mother's side, the mother's, uh, the, the mother's oldest sister and her uncle living in a $350,000 house somewhere around there. No matter what they do to my children, you see, in the end, they have to answer to God. You see them flashing lights on that truck? That's a trash truck. God picking up a lot of trash. God moving a lot of trash out of the way. And don't get me wrong and don't try to quote me when I say some people that may have died or got sick on the coronavirus, that God moving them out of the way in their trash. I'm not saying that. God trying to send somebody a message. Me and my daughters and my 92-year-old daddy, they said that's who be more susceptible to this virus. We didn't put on no mask or no gloves. We stayed in a hotel and my niece allowed us in her nice house and none of them, none of her children, her husband, her grandchildren, nor her nieces and nephews, which is my great nieces and nephews, none of us didn't put on no gloves. You see, my homie in Indiana that came to the service that of my two youngest daughter's mother, he didn't have on gloves. One of them in Chicago, he had on gloves, not masks, but to each his own. The funeral home people didn't have on none. The wicked sister, the wicked husband, and anybody else that was in that crowd that was wicked, they didn't have no gloves on. But I just want to tell y'all, you see, God controls everything. He give us warning before destruction. You see, God gave me plenty of warnings by sending me to prison a few times because I wasn't on the right track and when every time I got out, I did the same thing. My mother told me something that gave me wisdom when my 21-year-old brother then, and I believe I was 19, on August the 3rd, uh, 1977, he got in a head-up fight with a guy that was supposed to have been tough in Cabrini Green, and my brother whooped him, head up. No weapons, but his hands. He could have used his feet because he was trained in martial arts, but he used his hands. But you see, the tough guy couldn't take the whooping, but he put many whoopings and bullets in a lot of other people in Cabrini Green, so they set him up. Him and some bunch of cowards set him up and shot him in the back four times and once in the back of the head. But God had me in prison at that time because if I was out, I would have probably killed up all of them and their family members. But God gave my mother a chance before he took her away at the age of 59 in 1989 to put some wisdom in me, the same wisdom I'm putting in my two young daughters. You see, vengeance is the Lord's. My mother told me, if you'd have been out there, I know what you'd have did. But you know, she told me, she said, God took your brother, he might have not did anything. And they might have did murder him unjustifiably, but they have to answer to God. And they did. The one who they said pulled the trigger, who my brother had a head up fight with, he OD'd 
with three other guys and they was able to survive the other three guys and wasn't able to survive him. One of the other perpetrators that was supposed to have been tough over there, him and somebody else was trying to take something from somebody over there and they lit him up. They took him off the face of this earth. That's what happens sometimes when you're doing evil. You don't know how you're gonna be taken out. But my mother told me, maybe God, just maybe God took your brother life to make you get your life together. And it did. You know, I told y'all a lot of times when I come out here, it just could be, could be a coincidence. But it seemed like other people come, but you know, this this is a, a free place to come. I believe it's the part of the city here, you know. But anyway, what I wanna do, this is just part one. I'm gonna make part two to get back to some more evil that's going on in this world, y'all. You see, everybody, saying Moses, the Republicans, or some Republicans saying, I'm gonna vote for Trump, and some saying, the Democrats saying, I'm gonna vote for uh, Biden. But let me see, tell you something. When Biden get in, he'll be just like President Obama. Where is he at with this coronavirus? Where is he at when all this violence is happening in Chicago? Let me tell you where him and his wife at. They in Massachusetts in their $12 million home in Martha's Vineyard. They checking on their bankroll that they got the contract with uh, with the uh, Netflix. They checking their bankroll when they getting $60 million sometime to speak at these speaking engagements. They kids, they children, they two daughters, they secured for the rest of their life cause the CIA gon' watch it. Some of y'all don't like me talking about what Obama and them doing because he black, but evil coming all nationalities. You see, all you got to do is take a look. How many times President Obama made them trips up to Chicago with, with the exception of trying to get you all when Ron Emanuel was in office one of his chief of staff to get y'all to vote for him. How many times have you seen him up there when them people is getting killed by police, blacks? Or when blacks is killing blacks? But not just Obama, some of these other presidents. I told y'all before, it's two people that I thought y'all should have got to get in there even though they had some different ideas. And that was Andrew Yang and uh, Barney Sanders. You see, now the president and everybody else, Biden and everybody else, they want to use uh, the idea of Andrew Yang to give every American a thousand dollars. Now it makes sense to them. At first, it didn't make sense. But you know one thing about it. I don't care if Adolf Hitler was president because since I've been down here in Charles, Missouri, it didn't get no better when Obama was in there and nobody else. It's still racism down here. It's still Ku Klux Klan's down here. It's still Ku Klux Klan's in the United States and all the evil still happening. You know, one thing about it, the Democrats gonna look out for the Democrats. The Republicans gonna look out for the Republicans. You have a few in each party that may try to look out for everybody, but I ain't seen none of them come down here in Charles, Missouri to ask why it's only one black police on the uh, police department here in a town that's 5,947 people. I ain't seen none of them come down here and ask why there is no black sheriff deputies. I think they had one since I've been down here. He was on the police force at first, and then he went to the uh, sheriff department and he was a good brother but i'll be back with part two in a minute y'all watch out for this evil ain't a mask you can put on your face to stop the coronavirus ain't a pair of gloves you can put on your hands to stop the coronavirus if god had it for you what god got for you ain't no man or no human being no machines no ventilator nothing else can stop it you want me to tell you how i know I walked through the valley of the shadow of death many a time. 
I didn't feel no evil. Peace be still.